Do you need your PDF form to show the current date as soon as someone opens it up? Hey, it's Arit here from Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add a date field in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC that automatically fills in today's date into your PDF. This is just a nice feature for whoever's filling out your form because it already has today's date and it's gonna be accurate so they don't have to fill it out themselves. So let me show you how to do this. So I have the exact same form pulled up, except it's just without the fillable fields. This is typically how I design PDF forms. I've designed hundreds of these. And what I do first is create all of the boxes and then I go in and make them fillable according to whatever features we need. So for this field, you need to have a space on your document to create that date field. So it's a two-step process. Step number one is we're gonna create the date field. First thing you need to do is come over here to the bottom where you see that wrench and it says more tools and I'm going to click on that and then we're going to select prepare form. So that should bring in a bunch of editing tools up at the top. If you don't see this here and you just see a button that says edit, then click on edit and it should bring up all of these tools for you. So what we're going to do is create a date field and we don't want to use the original calendar field here. We're going to create it as a text field. This icon right here. So you don't want to use the date um, field right here. Let's use the text one. So you can click on it. You can click and drag and release or you can double click and then as soon as you start to move your cursor towards that box, you can just align the corners of the crosshairs with the corner of that field and then click down. That's kind of the easy way that I use to align the box with the box that's already on the PDF. And then I can just kind of click and drag these little dots, these white dots to make it fit into place. So the next thing you want to do is right click, go to properties. And then in the general tab, we're going to give this a name. So I'm just going to use date. And if you already have another field with the name date, then you want to use something different because in the second step, it's going to need this information to make the date field autofill. So make sure this is a unique name. The other thing I'm going to do in appearance is just change the fill color to gray. Uh, you might not need to do this, but I need to do this because if I don't change it, if there's no color, then I can see the notes that I have. But if you already don't have any notes, then you should see something like this. The other thing we need to do is in the format tab, you want to select the form category, which is going to be date and then select the format that you want the date to show up as. And you can see an example of what it'll look like down here. So I typically like to go with this one right here and whatever you select, I want you to make a note of this date format. So if you selected this one, make a note that it's M slash D slash Y, Y, Y. Cause again, we're going to use this as data in the second step. Last thing as well, I forgot to mention, let's go back to the general tab and change this down here under common properties to read only. Then we're going to hit close. Okay. So you can see here, if I preview it, it's a gray field, pretty straightforward right now. You can't really fill it out. It's a read only field. So we're going to do something here to program it so that it automatically fills up this date. This is step two. So in step two, we're going to add a little bit of JavaScript. Now don't get intimidated or overwhelmed. I am not a JavaScript person when it comes to PDF or JavaScript programmer, but this is super simple. I'm going to give you the JavaScript that you need to paste in on your end. It, it's going to be down in the description below. So you can just copy that and literally paste it right into where I'm going to show you. So I want you to go to view at the top, show hide, navigation panes and page thumbnails. If you already see the page thumbnails on the side, then you don't need to do this. But because I don't see that, pane already, then I need to pull that up. So I'm going to select page thumbnails. It's going to bring this up. So again, if you already see this, you don't need to do that step. You're already here. So what you need to do is right click, 
select page properties, and then go to the actions tab. If by the way, you have multiple pages and make sure you're on the page that has the date field. That's the one that you wanna right click on to pull up this page properties. So select trigger, we can leave it on page open. Select action, we're gonna select all the way down here, run a JavaScript, click on add, and then it's gonna bring up this box. Now, the code that you see in the description is what you're gonna paste right here. So copy that text exactly, then come in here, right click, paste, and then it's kind of zoomed in like a lot. It's really big right now. So I'm just gonna make this bigger so we can see, but yours will look smaller. It's just really massive because I'm zoomed in on my laptop. Now, remember those two pieces of data that I told you to keep track of? We're gonna need to switch out this information that's between the quotation marks. So whatever you named that date field, you're gonna replace it with right here. So make sure it says date if you named that field date or if you named it something else, make sure you put that in here. And the format that you chose for that date field should match this exactly right here. So I chose m slash d slash y y y again we can double check this but once you've put in that exact format you can hit ok and then hit ok again and now i'm going to test this so just save the file anywhere on your desktop so i'm going to save it as test hit save now we're going to open it up and then see what happens okay cool there you go let me zoom in so you can see that so see how it automatically has the date in here? It does get cut off uh, because my field is quite narrow. Maybe yours won't get cut off. If you find this is happening, like you have a really narrow field to work with, then all you need to do is adjust the size of this text. So all that means is you gotta come back to the wrench, the more tools area, hit prepare form, and then right click on this field, go to properties, appearance, change the font size to maybe, yeah, nine looks good. And then let's preview that. That fits nicely in the box. And there you have it. That's how you insert a date field into your PDF that automatically fills out upon opening the PDF. If you need help with designing your PDF document or form or making it fillable, then I'd be happy to help you out. I've designed hundreds of these. And depending on what you need, we can add drop downs, check boxes, date, time fields, all that kind of stuff. I'll put my email address in the description below in case you need help with your PDF form. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit like on this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.